Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know I've been gone for two years but I'm finally back, although expect a rather hectic upload schedule. And oh boy have I been living underneath a rock. Cause when I read the announcements and development page in the Plain Crazy Discord server, it appears that the development for the game sequel is progressing faster than we all anticipated. And I know most of you are up to date with what's happening, but I kinda need to upload a video. I'll be starting off with the most recent update starting with microtransactions. It appears that to support the development of the game's sequel, the creator of the game has started selling custom clothing in the store. Now this happened three months ago so they're all sold out, but we got some people reselling them, albeit at higher prices. Now the next big thing are some game leaks. We got pictures of an underground road, flowing lava, trees, a new drill block, and most importantly, water physics. Now this leak in particular was a product of a Twitter post from the creator a few years back. It also fulfills one of the easter eggs in the current game, and it just makes me wonder about the second easter egg and what it has in store for us. And with the winter update around the corner, we could be getting some more easter eggs. And let's not forget the game has seen a change in ownership. From 2014 all the way up to this year, the game has been owned by a different creator by the name of Mad Attack. However, he wasn't the one pushing all the updates. And because every change from the game has to go through him, it made updating and optimizing playing crazy a bit too difficult. Now it's under the ownership of Rick J under a group game after Roblox made transferring ownership of games possible. In my opinion, this is great news for the playing crazy community as a whole because updates to things like new blocks or new maps has been dry over the past few years. By having a little restructuring, it'll allow for more updates until the eventual sequel's release. And this restructuring comes at the right time as during those few years of inactivity, competitors have been making Plain Crazy inspired or clone games to fill the void. This positive change has also come as Plain Crazy is nearing a decade old, which makes me wonder what 2024 has in store for us. Leave your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you guys for watching, it's been a heck year, and during that year this channel has garnered 10,000 subscribers. Next up, 30,000 subscribers. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time.